Hey everyone, Rhoda here uh, with my dad and we're gonna show you how to make the best, easiest hummus recipe in the world. There are thousands of different hummus recipes, but almost none of them compare to the creamy and delicious hummus that you can find only in Israel. So in this video, we're going to show you the best and the most simple three-ingredient hummus recipe. Presented by Rhoda and her father, Sohel, who worked in a hummus restaurant and has not only the experience, but also the inherited knowledge in the hummus making craftsmanship. The recipe that they will show you today was passed along for hundreds of years, from generation to generation, and improved with each century, until the perfect hummus was made. Alright, so this hummus is so simple, it's only three main ingredients uh, and some salt. So basically you're gonna need some chickpeas that are ready to be mashed and uh, tahini and lemon juice. So about the chickpeas, what you have to do is uh, boil it for a very long time and we have prepared a video on how to do that, so please take a look. Come on! Hi Sergio, come in, we're gonna do the hummus today. Okay, I'm ready. We have this tray and the chickpeas and measuring cup. I'm only gonna take only two cups of hummus. Of course, you can do the whole kilo, but I'm gonna just do two cups and clean them. See if there is little stones or some things. Okay, now it's clean, nice. Okay, and wash them. Wash them real good. Take the water off. And wash them another time till the water comes real clean. So the water now is clean. Now we can soak them overnight or two nights. If you want to do it for two nights, just change the water twice. So this is, the hummus will become double and tomorrow we'll see them. Good morning, everyone. So it has been here, the hummus for two days. And yesterday I changed the water three times keep the water clean and now I'm gonna rinse it wash it again that's it now we're gonna put it in the pot put water till the half of the pot you need a lot of water now for an hour and after an hour on high and cover it half not the whole thing because sometimes it will go up so keep it an hour that's it when I want to test it yeah I take one like this and squeeze it you know so still it's hard it's very hard still hard see needs at least uh, 45 minutes as you see it's ready now it took uh, two hours almost and we added water but now I think it's, it's ready and uh, now I uh, need to cool it down. Yeah. Welcome back to the live show, everyone. I'm with my dad here, and uh, we have the chickpeas cooled down. And by the way, if you want to skip all that process of uh, boiling it and waiting for it on hours, you could just get the cans and do that. Just rinse them, and it will be fine as well. All right, Dad. So. <coughs> Now your turn. 
to okay. show us how You're to make. Welcome. Okay, we take uh, three cups. Two and three. Okay. And these would measure to three US cups. We add cold water. Okay. And a small cup of small spoon of salt. Yeah. Why do you add the cold water? Because um, the color here is uh, yellow, then here we'll get it white. Okay, it's yeah. wow. okay. a good tip. And we add tahina, one cup. So it's a ratio of three to one, basically. Three hummus, mm -hmm. one tahina. And for those who don't know what tahini is, it's simply um, a paste of sesame uh, seed. So they crush it and just like peanut butter, so this is tahini butter, basically. Then the third one? The lemon. lemon. It's easy. very easy. And why three ingredients? Why three? Why three? Oh, good uh, question. Um, because uh, one for the Father, one for the Son, one for the Holy Spirit. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. I think I can add a little bit of water. More water. It's very simple. Very easy, but very delicious. Yes, and we can't wait. This is really the best hummus. Mm. Come and smell. Mm. It's getting there. Now I'll see. See? Wow. It's ready. It's so creamy. Yes. Okay. okay. So now while we're plating them, my dad will show us a few toppings uh, to put on them. And uh, toppings we have chosen that are very traditional here, it can be like pine the, nuts, uh, olives, olive meat, oil, oil, some parsley and some paprika. Here, paprika, sweet paprika. Nice. And there is the sauce. Some people like the sauce. And what is this sauce? What it's, is it made of? It's garlic and lemon and oil and a little bit of salt. Okay. So. And there you go, folks the best hummus dish in the world from Nazareth all to you and we're gonna show no. you mm -hmm. other toppings that we're gonna mm -hmm. and other options that we're gonna put on top this is the first one mm -hmm. with the uh, meat hot meat and we call it snowbar. Wow, this looks amazing and it smells so good. Mm -hmm. okay. And of course the sauce. 
Here we are. Wow, look at that. That is just awesome. And the meat is just simple ground meat with salt and pepper. You can actually use shawarma meat too to put it on top. It's really up to you. And the third another one. option mm -hmm. with the fava beans. Fava beans. And you just boil the beans? Yes. That's it. Mm -hmm. With the olive oil. This is very important. Wow. Mm -hmm. And the paprika is for decoration. It's sweet, it's not hot. With the fool, this sauce are very good. Here we are. Wow, look at that. Look how awesome that looks. And just having the hummus foundation, like the base, is also just wonderful. You can have it like a dip with cucumbers, with celery. Like you can make it as heavy or as light as you like. And so these are our three traditional options that go around here. Um, we hope that you make the hummus and uh, enjoy it. And for now, we're gonna show you about the history of it and how far back it goes. So take a look at that. Today, hummus is very famous. But how far back can we trace it? When was the first hummus prepared and by whom? Many have tried to take the ownership of the hummus invention. And over the years, it had become a hot debate. When in 2009, Lebanese Minister of Tourism, in an attempt to claim the hummus origins, decided to make the largest plate of hummus. So large that it would go into the Guinness Book of World Records. Two tons, or four and a half thousand pounds of hummus. In response, a famous Arab-Israeli hummus place in Abu Ghosh retaliated with a four ton of hummus packed into a satellite dish which the Lebanese counterattacked with 10-ton hummus plate. Yes, 23,000 pounds of hummus. And as incredibly impressive as it is, this does not answer a question who invented hummus and when. The ingredients themselves date back as far as men existed. But the combination of them that forms the hummus gets a bit harder to trace. Some suggest that the first ever hummus was mentioned in the Bible, in the book of Ruth, where Boaz tells Ruth, come here and eat of the bread and dip your bread in hametz. And even though hametz in Hebrew means vinegar, some theorize that it sounds weird that one would dip their bread in vinegar and thus it might mean something else, perhaps hummus. However, this theory is very weak and most likely improbable. And if you want to know why this word is here, we highly recommend the Ruth study series by Charlie Garrett, explaining the incredible significance of every Hebrew word in the book of Ruth. You may find the link in the description of this video below. So if the Bible does not mention it, what is the earliest source we have of the hummus plate? According to a Middle East historian, Ari Ariel, from the University of Iowa, the earliest mention of hummus that we have to date is from a 13th century Egyptian cookbook. And not only is it a mentioning of the hummus dish, but also it provides the exact ingredients and exact instructions on how to make it. But Egypt wasn't the only one who published hummus recipe in the 13th century. After further research, we found out that hummus recipes can also be found in Syrian cookbooks, dating from the same time. In conclusion, even though we can't pinpoint the exact country it originated from, we can confidently say it's Middle Eastern. Okay, let's, let's pray. Yeah. Thank you, Lord, for uh, this uh, food. Bless it and uh, uh, bless our fellowship here and uh, bless those who are uh, sharing us this uh, video. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Okay, guys, so we have here some eggs. We have some white cheese, like uh, type of feta. We have some hyssop and olive oil and olives and 
like a lot of vegetables, all the good stuff that you can have with hummus. And now for the tasting time. And I'm going to show you how to dip. Okay. Okay. Like this. But why are you dipping from my plate? Not oh, no, we share, we share. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. So you take a piece of bread, you kind of roll it halfway, and you just grab some and. Oh my goodness. Mm. This is amazing. Wow. We wish all of you were with us to share this with us. But I really hope that you'll make it at your home and really enjoy it. Let's test this with the meat. <laughs> oh. And by the way, for those who are asking about Sergio, mm. he's the camera guy today. <laughs> so he's right there in front of me. Mm. Mm. And now for the exit thought show. Yeah. Mm. The Alan thought is. Mm. I'll okay, choose. we have this game with the eggs we have to show you. Mm. I think this is the strongest one. I think mine is the strongest one. Okay. But yeah. let's see. Wait, no, this might be the strongest one. Okay. Oh. okay. Ha. Okay, my Told turn you. from the back. Yeah. Oh. Mine you. is the weakest. How did you know yours is the strongest one? from the shape of the egg. <laughs> yeah. Wow. <clears throat> okay. And then, okay. So you need to eat it. No, I want to keep it for <laughs> someone to <laughs> take this one. All right, guys. Thank you so much for being with us today <clears throat> and um, sharing with us this experience which is uh, brings the family together and uh, we have such a good time when we do it. So I really hope you do this and that you enjoy it. Have a good one and God bless you all. <laughs>